Welcome to Bread from the Porter. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on September the 21st, 2017. The title of the message is Pride and Selfishness, Part 2. And the Lord Jesus began, I am close to the humble at heart. Children, cultivate humility. The world pushes for self-centeredness, but I require humility. The world is filled with pride, and it has crept into my house. Some of my own children are so selfish and full of themselves. They do not allow the Holy Spirit to bear fruit in them. They are coarse and abrasive with others, and all they think about is how to use someone else to satisfy their own needs. Children, this is not my way. I have made it clear in my word that you should treat others as you would want to be treated. Do not be abrasive with others, yet expect and even demand gentleness and kindness from them. Your pride will turn off even those who are unsaved, but are seeking my truth. They are seeking me, but when they look at how you act and speak, they are repulsed by your behavior, and they attribute your shortcomings to me, and therefore reject me. Children, you know the truth. You understand how you should live your life. But if you ignore my commands, you are not only rebellious to my words, but you misrepresent me. I will hold you responsible for this, for have I not called you my ambassadors? And as such, you must represent me in the best way possible. When you are self-centered and uncaring, you send the wrong message to those who are tired of this world and are searching for the truth and peace. Remember, the life you live here on earth is not just about you but also about the ones you influence or have influence over. It is time to put aside your selfishness and pride for the sake of the lost souls that are seeking me. Remember what my word says, that you are my ambassadors, and you are to go out and spread the gospel abroad until the whole world has heard about me. But how can you represent me when you are full of self, full of your flesh, full of sin? The flesh is enmity with the spirit and darkness has no place in the presence of light. You cannot straddle the fence for your own convenience. It is not just about you. There are those out there who are watching you to see if you are a true child of mine or if you are a hypocrite. Therefore, crucify your flesh, bridle your tongue, and put on the shoes of the preparation of the gospel of peace. From now on, you need to bury your flesh Resist temptation, even to the point of the shedding of blood. Speak life instead of death. Speak life into the lives of others and intercede for your brother and the world. Intention to be the peacemaker among the brethren, instead of the one who brings dissension and disunity. I am watching you and I see how you act and I hear what you say. Repent and stop living a hypocritical life. Life is already hard enough out there. The world is looking for someone to enrich their lives. Right now the world cannot discern what is going on around them and they desperately need someone to make sense of what is going on. You are my children. You know and understand my word. Therefore, go forth and make disciples of all nations. I am calling you to be my messengers, my mouthpiece. Tell all men about me. They need to know who I am and what I am able to do for them. Do you not understand the hour you are in? You, my children, are needed now more than ever. It is way past time to bring in the final harvest. If you are still sitting there thinking you have decades to go, you are deceiving yourself. Look around and notice the rise of wickedness in the land. My bride's heart is grieved. My Holy Spirit is grieved. And I am grieved. But I will not lay in sackcloth and ashes forever. Soon, Darkness will fall, and before my bride loses all hope, I will rescue her from the midst of darkness. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.